Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I uh, just wanted to, to share a little box opening. We're going to finish up this box in 1990 Tops. Um, we uh, found another bin full of unopened wax yesterday uh, with a bunch of football and hockey. Um, so I figured I need to get some of this stuff opened and listed and uh, put on eBay. Uh, 1990 Tops is one of the ones that I can definitely remember opening as a kid. And uh, the design's nothing fancy. Um, did have some pretty good rookies in here. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to bust through this. Hope everybody has a great day. And this is the gum era. So we are going to probably be getting rid because of the age of these, the back card. Um, because as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see in the picture, but it leaves a little indentation from being in that box for, you know, what is that, 33 years? Yeah. This <laughs> makes me feel, definitely feel old. And then each car, each pack, you have one of these 1,000-yard club cards. So this yellow. So there's Tim McGee. And then occasionally you'll have, like, the Super Bowl cards. We found a ton of these Super Bowl cards all the way back into the 60s um, in uh, one, of the, one of the binders that we got. And um, there's, God, there's just so much unopened wax in here. Um, we've been posting a lot of it on eBay just because I don't want to open all these old packs, um, you know, the biggest one that we found was there's, golly, there must be seven boxes of 87 tops that's unopened. Um, one of them I did open and uh, had a good time. It's been a long time since we've done an 87 tops. And there's Sterling Sharp. That's a good card. And let's see if we can find any of the decent hits in here. Looking for some of the rookies. Looking for that Deion Sanders. For sure. Let's see. That one's... God, I hate to see it. There's Marcus Allen on a ruined card. Anyway, there's Mark Clayton. Be too big so far. I love opening these old cards, but man, that gum, oh, disgusting. And uh, we've we've opened a bunch of this old wax and actually sent some off for grading. These do, these are tough. These are there's Chris Singleton, 90, 1990 draft pick card. So there's the 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 rookie. The way that they'll look, there's draft picks, and then some. I believe they say super rookie on it, if I'm not not mistaken. That's either 89 or 90. They say super rookie across the bottom. Luckily, that was nobody on the. There's a Ronnie Lot. Check that out. Jerry McDaniel, Jim Kelly, old Buffalo Bills quarterback. Eric Martin on the thousand yard club. There's a good one, guys. Top super rookie Troy Aikman. So I was right. That's actually one of the big hits from this. And that one is fairly well centered, a little bit off left to right, but in pretty darn good condition. I'll have to look that over a little bit better. Rodney Pete on the super rookie. Golly, it feels like Troy Aikman was around longer than that. Surprised that 1990 was his rookie year. I think it would have been 89 for Barry Sanders, but I'm not sure if he was in tops. I, I definitely remember score Barry Sanders because he had... There's Kali, another one right there, right out of the gate. So we got the super rookie and the 89 record breaker card. Uh, most passing yards in a game for a rookie. Uh, so right out of the gates, Troy Aikman was... Making waves down there in Dallas. Let's see. Anybody else? Yeah. I wonder if when we sell that, if that sells like a rookie card since it's his rookie season, or if that's more like an insert, or if it's worth more. I'll have to look that up. 
you know, in this collection, we've had a lot of those late 80s, early, and there's Montana to Craig, the winning duo, man, the 49ers were awesome back there, and Ricky Sanders, that's a good one too, uh, we actually found uh, one of his, um, I don't know if you guys remember the, the figurines, but I'll show you in just a second, uh, we got, golly, three or four bins full of those uh, starting lineup figurines, and we got a Ricky Sanders in it, uh, and that's actually the highest sell selling starting lineup so far. Um, there's some of them in there that are worth some pretty good money. I think that one sold for like 25 bucks, um, but we've probably got, I don't know, over 100 of those, and there's Art Monk, like that card on the Thousand Yard Club. Ben Smith. Not sure that I remember Ben Smith. Looks says he's safety for the Eagles, so draft pick card. There's a good one. Joe Montana, Boomer Sison, passing leaders card. Oh Boomer. I can remember him. There's Andre Risen super rookie. That's pretty cool. Don't know how much that's worth. It says now with Falcons, so that's surprising to me that. They traded a rookie that quick. I wonder how that happened. I have to look back and try and figure out what, why that ended up. I definitely remember him going to the Falcons, but going on his rookie year, that's uh, pretty odd unless the Colts couldn't keep him, I guess. Dalton Hilliard. There's Derek Thomas. Now, that's a good one. That's one I remember. Uh, being a big chase back then, and uh, that's one I can remember having in one of those hard cases. Uh, let's see your tops all pro. And these are a lot of fun. Marcus Allen, there's one that's not gummed up. I still love Marcus Allen. I remember I had his rookie card. That was one of my big cards in my collection back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, the gum... Gum disaster. Webster Slaughter. There's Christian Ioke. Good Lord, look at that. He looks like a freight train. Holy cow. I, I don't know if the pads are just got smaller, but he would be the biggest dude in football for sure right now. That's actually pretty cool. And then Richmond Webb on the draft pick card, and there's super rookie Chris Jackie. Kicker for the pack. Tony Bennett. Another Packers. Uh, this takes me back for sure. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we will be opening some more um, of the older football. I've got uh, some 89 Pro Set we found in here. I think we got five or six boxes, so I'll open one of those up, and then we'll be selling the rest on eBay. So feel free if you like to open some of this for yourself. Uh, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to buy them by the box for sure uh, than trying to buy up individually. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I have to say I've enjoyed, uh, Liam got me back into the hobby and I've really enjoyed opening up some of those old boxes that I had opened when I was a kid. Uh, the funniest one is, and there's Thurman Thomas, Thousand Yard Club. Buffalo Bills. Uh, we opened up some 89 upper deck, or excuse me, not upper deck. Yeah, upper deck. We opened up some 89 upper deck. That was a lot of fun. There's Chris Singleton, 90, 1990 draft pick. Uh, we opened up uh, some 88 tops as well, which is really funny because that was super cheap. Steve Atwater on the Super Rookie. I think we paid less than 20 bucks for a box. And then uh, the 89 Donruss, I, I think we paid maybe 14 or 15 bucks for the box. I think shipping was almost as much as it cost us for the box. And uh, didn't remember those cards being so junky, uh, seeing the print lines in them. Uh, these are a lot better there. This Junior Seau, tell you what, that dude looks like a football player. Look at that. That is one heck of a mustache there, Junior. And Barry Sanders, Tops All Pro. I like that card. A little bit off center, but man, it's fun to open these up and see them brand new, just like they would have been. Pat Terrell, draft pick card. Bernie Kozar for the Browns. 
And there's a good one, Herschel Walker. And that one's centered up pretty darn good. Oh, that's just some fuzz. Good card there. Marion Butts. And then Dave Meggett, super rookie. Move these back out of the way. Looks like we've got about seven or eight more. Guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, feel free to leave any comments. Uh, if you see anything in here you like, uh, feel free to jump on over to our eBay page. We are Superfly Collectibles. And basically, Liam and I just, whatever we open, we put the stuff we really want to keep in our PC. Uh, we'll send off for grading. Uh, that we've got everything slab that's in our personal collection. And everything else we just sell off on eBay. Uh, occasionally we'll send some stuff that we pull from the pack off to uh, get graded and sell it graded. Just because uh, they tend to sell for more, uh, especially the newer cards. Uh, we've just found that the older cards are hard to get. And there's a Barry Sanders Thousand Yard Club. That's a, sh golly, that's a good looking card too. Wish they were a little better centered, but that's just typical on this old wax. Andre Ryzen, super rookie. That one's actually pretty well centered on that one. Second one of those. It'd be fun to maybe make a set out of these as much as as many of them as we've gotten in this collection. Maybe put a set together and sell off the set. We've probably got, I don't know, three or four. Oh, there's a good one, too. Percy Snow, 1990 draft pick. That's pretty good centering, too. Barry Foster. I don't remember Barry Foster. So this is with the Steelers. Sure, my grandpa would remember them. He was a huge Steelers fan. That's where started watching football as a kid because we uh living in south carolina we didn't have a uh football team so i there's another barry sanders man getting lots of this thing and bo jackson that's one of the big hits in here for sure and that one is fairly well centered good looking card a little smudge on the card there not sure what's going on anyway that's a good one Jerry Rice, all pro card. That's a good one. Mike Singletary. Man, I used to have quite a few of his cards in my collection back in the day. It's a good looking one, too. Bob Golick. A ton of nostalgia here for me, guys. Sorry if I'm getting stuck on cards rather than just. Going through them, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Richmond Webb, Rich Jack here, Tony Bennett again. It's like we're doubling up on some of these. It's just fun. Uh, back in the day, if you got a box that you were chasing somebody, I can remember '87 Tops uh, baseball. Uh, open in a box, and I think we got three or four Mark McGuire 1987. There's Benny Blades. Found one of Benny Blades' rookie cards yesterday. Rodney Hampton for the Giants. Thurman Thomas. Buffalo Bills. But yeah, they would get collated, I think, when they were uh, making these boxes. Uh, not like today. Uh, you usually have to open two or three boxes to see the same player again I uh, usually it takes you, you know, three four boxes to make a set uh, nowadays although the sets are smaller so flipper anderson don't remember him 1989 most receiving yards in a game 336 receiving yards holy cow there's troy aikman another rookie record breaker christian iok that card makes me laugh every time. We we, we pulled one out uh, yesterday in the collection uh, from the 70s. And golly, some of those football players from the 70s, uh, they sure look like football players. The guy was missing a tooth right in the middle. Here's our 
best hits from that one, guys. Uh, several Troy Aikmans, uh, Derek Thomas, uh, Christian Iok. Uh, we will be posting most of these online. Here's our oh, almost missed it. One last pack. I believe this one should have had the Deion Sanders in it. I'm not 100% certain. There's another Jerry Rice in the last pack. Jeff George. Bo Nose Yardage. That's cool. That's a cool one. So it would have been like the team checklist card. That's it, guys. Appreciate you watching. Have a great weekend. Uh, keep an eye out. We're hoping to get our Bob Ross The Joy of Baseball uh, boxes in. We got the small ones, but uh, the, uh, the uh, collector's boxes should be here. Uh, hopefully they'll ship out today, and I think they're coming overnight. So have a great weekend, everybody.